I became a digital mentor because I really wanted to help people understand technology. We've got a really fast developing world, sometimes too fast to catch up with, and there's a lot of people that feel like they've been left behind. I love seeing the smiles on people's faces once they repeat something that I've taught them and they can do it and you can hear the happiness in their voice. What they want to get out of it, it might be something simple or it might be a bit more complicated but it's always really fun and really interesting and you can see their personality shine through it. Uh, my favourite part of being a digital mentor is when you see people have that discovery moment of seeing something new with technology um, and something that they had absolutely no idea about before, could never have imagined, seeing what's possible, seeing what's out there and just getting so excited about it. In 2009 my wife said, I've seen an ad in the Manly Daily, they want somebody to go and teach computers, you'd be good at that. <laughs> You know, the levels of excitement when people start to use technology can be amazing. I've learned a lot from my students and I'm having fun. I've learnt how to communicate with people in different ways. My advice to people who's thinking of becoming mentors, try and relate to your students. Be more direct and try and find out what they want, not what you can teach them. The first thing one has to do with that friendly, non-threatening environment is build up their confidence. And that's where the mentor comes into it. That's where the trainer can actually make all the difference. Because they had to learn to start, they were in that same position. It's a lot of jobs you have these days. You don't create relationships, you don't create bonds. And this job's completely different. It's really independent. It's really um, based on relationships. Do it, definitely do it. Um, it's really enriching. Uh, and I think that you get to meet a lot of people that you wouldn't otherwise meet. I remember one older lady, Jane, who we worked with. I remember sitting with her the first time that she ever saw an iPad. And we got on Google and started looking up some stuff that she was interested in. And she started clapping her hands and you know she was just like bursting out of her skin. And she said, and she said, um, you know, I really believe that this is going to open up an aspect of my life that I didn't know existed. <laughs>